Your membership investment in the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce supports the creation of more opportunities for your business to succeed. Here's a quick snapshot of what we've been up to in recent weeks to provide you with the tools to respond effectively to COVID-19 while also continuing our efforts to grow jobs, your workforce, and investment in the region. Promovio recently announced plans to expand its local operations and headquarters in the Springfield region. The Bolivar-based business process outsourcing company will open a second office in downtown Springfield's Hammonds Tower and create 50 new jobs. Promovio chose Springfield for the expansion to utilize our reliable internet, available workforce, and expansive federal hub zone, a program of the Small Business Administration designed to encourage growth in historically underutilized business zones. While helping your businesses respond to the impact of the pandemic has certainly been a priority focus this year, major job and investment announcements have still been taking place over the past several months. Right now, in 2020, we've already helped to attract more than 330 new jobs. Well-known companies like Kraft Heinz, Veterans United Home Loans, American Airlines, Convoy of Hope, and others are choosing to invest here. And they aren't alone. Stay tuned because very big announcements of new jobs and investment in our region are still expected before the end of this year. The U.S. Chamber's Jack Howard provided an update on the status of federal COVID policy and programs. Click the link below for a recording of that program on our website. We also hosted a program for small businesses about eligibility and how to apply for grants from Greene County's CARES Act Relief Fund. In addition, we issued a Frequently Asked Questions guide to help small businesses with the process. Following our program in small business outreach, the county reported a significant influx of more than 300 new small business applications prior to their September 30th deadline. If you submitted or started an application prior to the deadline but never received confirmation or contact from the county, please let us know. We are your advocate and will work on your behalf to ensure your application gets every consideration. So please reach out to Lauren Musto on our chamber team using the link below if we can be of any assistance. Make plans now to join us virtually for our second Public Policy Speaker Series event of the year at 1.30 p.m. on October 27th. You'll have the opportunity to hear from retiring Evangel University President Dr. Carol Taylor about her career as an education leader in our community. See the link below for registration. Continue monitoring our one-stop shop webpage of springfieldchamber.com slash coronavirus as we're continually updating information about federal programs like the PPP loan forgiveness process or local resources like the health department's COVID-19 toolkit for businesses and workplaces. The Network for Springfield Young Professionals, part of our talent retention initiative, recently hosted two timely programs for members. In the first event, representatives of the Discovery Center, Boys and Girls Club of Springfield, and Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Ozarks shared insights with network members about volunteer opportunities in our community. One of the key takeaways was to take some time, do your research, and connect with nonprofits that align with your passion and your values. The second event was part of the network's Access to the Issues series. State Senator Lincoln Huff and State Representative Crystal Quaid joined network members for a session focused on lessons learned while leading through a crisis. Both lawmakers emphasized the importance of working together and hearing from their constituents, and they continued to encourage YPs to communicate with those who represent them. Mark your calendars for the network's SGF Forum, coming up on November 19th. The program will be available virtually at no cost. This is the second year for this summit-style event, which features a lineup of nationally recognized and local speakers focusing on community and professional development. This is an incredibly valuable opportunity, and I just want to encourage all of you who employ YPs to share this information with them, and please encourage them to tune in. Click the link below for additional details. It's time to celebrate the five finalists for the Chamber's Small Business Award. The announcement of the 2020 finalists was delayed due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, but an independent panel of judges chose the finalists earlier this spring based on written applications that include essays covering company history, management philosophy, responses to challenges, innovation in product and service offerings, and contributions to the community. Congratulations to Academy of Hair Design, Burgess Aircraft Management Oz Air Charter Service, OMG Commerce, Pearson Kelly Technology, and Volt Credit Union. The five companies will be featured during the Chamber's Good Morning Springfield event on November 5th, and they'll also be celebrated officially during our Small Business Award event on November 11th. 
being virtually presented from the Oasis Hotel and Convention Center. That event culminates with the announcement of the 2020 W. Curtis Struby Small Business Award recipient. Prior to that announcement, we'll also hear from Dr. Spencer Harris with the digital marketing firm Mostly Serious, 2019 Small Business Award recipient, and he'll be sharing about the findings of a research project the firm collaborated on with the Chamber this year. This data offers valuable insights into the digital behavior of local customers. So be sure to tune in for the full event. The presenting sponsor of this year's event is Biz417. And finally, please remember that as our local, state, and federal officials work on pandemic-related policy, we are your advocate and your voice in that process. And to be effective on your behalf, we need to keep hearing from you. So you can email us your questions and feedback at COVID19info at springfieldchamber.com. And as always, visit our coronavirus webpage for continually updated resources, including recordings of our Good Morning Springfield programs and other educational presentations. Our team is so inspired by your perseverance, your innovation, and your example in our community. We are honored to serve you and to represent the voice of business, your voice, each step of the way. Thank you for being a part of the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce.